Hey everybody, welcome to the morning hours of day number 12 in Dead in Bermuda, Falcon Blaze It. You know the routine, let's get underway over here. Um, I did a little bit of adjusting off camera, like move some people around where I expect them to do some work here, so we don't have to deal with that this time around. But, I have a few items that I figured I would use on camera before I made a decision so you guys could kind of either commend me on it or yell at me because I used them. But I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. We have one Miracle Potion left over, correct? Which is, um, negative 10 to all states. I need Yuri to continue finding some resources for us because we're going to need those resources. And then after he's done finding the resources, we need him over here with Bob crafting. So Bob has to find some food here. Meanwhile, as a matter of fact, we might actually have to remove Bob from crafting and use somebody else to um, build with Yuri. But that's besides the point. I'm getting ahead of myself right now. My question, or at least my, not question, but my idea is, look at his stats right now. Hunger 22, sickness 19. Sickness is about to hit 25, which is no good. Depression is relatively high. Fatigue is, you know, getting up there. Injuries, 11%. If I used it, uh, a miracle potion on him, that's negative 10 to everything, which is, you know, good. We'll be able to take care of a lot of those things in one fell swoop. I'm thinking we use it either on Yuri or Jacob as well. Jacob would actually benefit from it too. He'll get that depression down too, so I don't have to get him to talk to anybody. Also, the hunger and the fatigue at the same time. But he only has really four things to deal with, while Yuri has five. So I think Yuri might be the best bet for the Miracle Potion. So let me know if you guys agree with me or not. I think this is the best um, option, though. So I'm going to go ahead and use this right now. Good. And as we can see over here, that's looking a lot better for sure. Now, we do know for a fact that some people are actually quite sick, almost at 19 and 20% if I'm right. Because I've been feeding them fish, right? Raw fish, no less. So, you're fine. Sings is at 9. Sings is at 2. And 19. I do have some of this here, which is going to be 20%. So, do we just hold off into their um, a bit above 20 and then we use that? I think that might be probably for the best. Uh, we do have some painkillers as well for 20% injury. I don't think anybody is hurt that bad though, right? No. So we don't have to use any other items, I don't think, right now. Is there any sort of um, up crease over here that I have to use? Injury, 20% hunger? Nope. Intelligence? Uh, I guess I probably should have used this intelligence on Ileana quite a while back now that I think about it, just because she always uses... Um... Well, I've been saving it for... Even though she does use it quite often with the researching option, I also am considering saving it for it because I'm pretty sure medicine base is going to be based on your intelligence in terms of um, how tired you get doing it. But I don't know. I'll hold on to it a bit longer. I am considering though that they do have to rest a bit more. Uh, Alejandro especially. So I'm thinking you rest up. You guys obviously have to fish and please bring in something good for me. You guys are going to go out and find some fruit because if they fail me, which they've been doing quite a bit recently, you guys have to you know pick up the slack with some fruit. You guys can do 3 to 6, which is fine. Julia will find a location on her own, more than likely. And then you are going to go and find... Uh, we need to start focusing on rope. We need 10 rope, and then we need 5 stone. So let's get the rope out of the way now. 1 of 4. Oof. What about stone? 1 of 3. Oh boy. Let's start focusing on that rope. Because we need a lot of rope anyway. Actually, you know, when it's only one person, though, it's probably best we go for the lower, lowest amount one, which would be the stone. And then once we have two people, we could focus on the rope and bring in a higher count, because we need more rope than stone right now. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll do it that way. And remember, we need 25 wood for the cooking pot. We have 27, so we need to stoke this fire regardless of which. So I'm going to convert one twice. And whatever we do, we have to either save that 25 wood or hopefully get a bit more to stoke the fire, but we cannot not not use up any more wood if I want to start working at a cooking pod instantly after we have the required items. So I think everybody's set to go. Let's uh, go forward here and hopefully it goes well. I want another map to check out because 25, oof, I would have liked you to go down into the green, but okay. Come on, guys. Nine! Yes! That is more than enough for one night. So that's good. I'm obviously going to risk sickness and everything, but it's okay. Five fruit as well, which is fine because we do need some water. We have winters leveling up here too. Really good. Fatigue is, isn't really that big of an issue for them right now, so they could definitely tough it out a bit longer. Three stone. Really good. That's actually the highest he could actually brought in for me. Good on you, Yuri. Now, Julia. Yes, new map. Perfect. Okay. Constitution plus one. Fatigue, a little bit high. A little bit high, that's for a fact, but okay. Uh, let's find out what's in this map first. Here it is. Oh, we still have this um, chest to deal with, huh? I'm pretty sure this is depression-related, so... If we need some emergency wood, we could actually break that down, too. So here's what we could do. We could actually hide the booty for depression. Um, I want to say one of these is negative, though. I just don't know. I don't remember which one it is. 
I'll hold off on it a bit longer until we probably either need the wood or depression for a fact. Let's go back to the map over here. This is going to be, what is this? Oh yeah, we haven't been here in a while. Isn't this um, rest for depression? Yeah, this is to sacrifice some fatigue for depression if I remember here correctly. Uh, let's see. Well, how's your depression? 21. No, not worth it. 30 fatigue, kind of. Fatigue 34, depression 16. Oh, you know what? Alice could definitely do with this. 28 and only one depression? That's gonna help us out quite a bit. And even winters too. You know what? Let's do um Alice first here then. Let's see exactly. I forget what the amount that you reduce is and what the amount is that increases here. We have a weird Kingler attacking us. Stealth plus one, that's okay. Oh, we got a level up out of it too. Yeah. Nice. Um depression goes up a bit. Ooh. That's good. I actually like it. Let's actually send Winters over here too then. I forgot all about this couch. Ooh, hey, we actually succeeded with that cell check. Excellent. Alrighty. Good. Uh, no more for you, I'm gonna say, Winters. Anybody else that we could kind of, um, make this happen with? No, no, your depression's already at 34. That's no good. Fatigue, you're already pretty much set. Um, depression's already kind of high. Mm. I almost want to go with Yuri, but depression's gonna be up to almost to that point where it's gonna start affecting us quite a bit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do you think, Yuri? No, no, I'm gonna hold off on that one. Okay, so that's fine. Let's uh, go back to the map here. So that was Couch, this was the booty. This is over here, old man, if I'm correct here. Still can't do much with him. Alright, so let's go to the new map over here that we found. Spooky Dark Corner. Too spooky dark corner for you. Um, anyway, let's see here about inspecting this first. Hunt big spiders. That's terrifying. Uh, you find a hole in the ground covered in tangible darkness. You fear it might be a giant spider's nest. This sounds like a terrible thing all over it. Do we search it or do we hunt big spiders? Would hunting big spiders bring in food? I wonder. Spider meat? I don't know, man. This is a weird island, though. If we search, what happens here? Injury. Yeah, I I'd imagine we probably get injured quite a bit. Oh, boy. You know what? I think we might have enough food because of the amazing fishing expedition that Bob and Jacob had. So... Your injury 1, injury 9. 56 scavenging, 54. I'm gonna go with Yuri. And the reason why I'm doing this is because even if he does take injury from this um, thing, we still could use a painkiller on him, and he only has 1%, so more than likely, if he gets hurt quite a bit, the painkiller should be able to negate most of the damage. So I think I'm gonna go with Yuri on that one. You might not pass this one, but that's okay. Yeah, you didn't. No surprise there. Oh, that's high. That's kind of high. You pick up some stick and begin to search the darkness. You quickly feel you are disturbing a family of giant spiders. After a quick, dirty fight, you manage to make them flee. Scavenging plus one. Ten soy sprouts, four happy mushrooms, one lucky charm. And injury is only at 15. That's good. Yuri, you, you boss you. I have no idea what those things are for, so let's find out really quickly here. Actually, let's find out through just a use item, I would say. Ten sprouts. Decreases hunger one of five. You know, like an emergency ration. It basically works out as one of those, um, the shittiest meal that we have. That's how it's gonna work out, one of five. And he also found happy mushrooms, which is 20 depression, but 10 sickness. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good to trade off on occasion. Because we do have the healing water, which is 20% sickness. So, if we want to get rid of somebody's uh, depression instantly, we could just um, follow it up with this over here. Not too bad. What's the lucky charm for? Five scavenging! Oh, that's really good. Okay. Um... Yuri, are you more of my scavenger or my crafter? I want to say crafter, though. I do want to say crafter. Let's see here. Without the negative effects taking toll on him, scavenging is 54, 57 for Yuri. Crafting is 35 and 59. So, technically it should be Alejandro because Yuri kind of focuses on crafting on occasion as well. So, I'm going to use it on Alejandro, then. Even though he has to rest right now. 25 fatigue, is that really enough for a rest? I really don't think so. Actually, didn't you rest already? Yeah, you rested already. It's time for you to get back over here. If anything. So get your ass back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the... The lucky charm on you. There you go. And do we want to use up that happy mushroom on somebody's depression? I would say yes. Who's actually kind of depressed right now? 13? Yeah, I could probably use it on Alejandro over here. Yeah. You know what? Let's use that really quickly. Alejandro, we will use one happy mushroom on you. Sickness will go up to 12. That's okay, though. Depression's only one now. Uh-oh! <laughs> We're getting the crazy screen again. That's okay. Uh, fatigue. They're both in the yellow. 
Not happy about it, but whatever. Depression's at least seven. Alice has a level up. Let's take care of that level up, too. Excuse me, screen. Can you please stop um, being drunk? I'm trying to make some moves right now. Seven. Okay. Um, constitution is for harvesting, so let's go ahead and try to get you up to 60. Good. Four more left over. Exploration at 70. Harvesting, let's get this back up because you've been helping me out quite a bit on that. And then, soon enough, because we have the cooking pot, we'll get you to cooking a bit higher as well. There we go. This is pretty good. And then you have a level up too. Excellent. 11 points. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's see. What you, what have you been doing recently for me? Harvesting? You are going to be our medicine person when that's, once that station is up and running at some point. Constitution is going to be based on harvesting, exploring, gathering, hunting. Let's get you up to like... 57. We'll get more harvesting going up here, too. Up to 45. We have two more points left over. I'm thinking we toss those two extra points into... Uh, intelligence will dictate researching and medicine. Decreases sickness by 26 to 40 when healing. Decreases injury 26 to 40 when healing. Ooh, that's a really high uh, boost right there. Or a high decrease, I should say. Let's get you to harvest a bit higher. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that's cool here. How are you guys doing? Depression, there you go. Um, you don't have any sickness too. Excellent, so you are the next candidate for the happy mushroom. <laughs> Everybody's just tripping balls and shrooms right now. That's okay though. That's really, really good. What about you? You could definitely use one too. Your sickness is at 19. This is perfect. What this lets me do is um, happy mushroom followed up by healing water. 20%, he's at 18. Excellent, there you go. Depression, you're fine. And that's it! Okay, I think we have most of our levels under control, guys, and we have enough food coming in, too. Okay, so you are tired, but I'm gonna have you research another area for now. You guys are gonna go and grab... Well, you know what? Since we only need five more... Oh, we only need two more stones, right? You guys aren't really too tired. Let's go and swap over to rope then. I know we still need two more stones, but let's actually, since we have both of them ready to go, we'll have them go together to find some ropes. That could be one of seven instantly right there. And you guys will search for some more fruit. Three to seven is your haul. Great. You guys will fish. Zero to ten. Great. And you are going to go back to researching on your own. There you go. And I think we're ready to go. Let's go forward. This is not going to progress too fast now, but that's okay. At least, um, it'll have her do something, and at the same time, she doesn't get too tired from doing that. Oh, seven fish. Thank God. You guys are killing it today. Harvesting plus one. Seven fruit. That is as much as we could actually brought in. We're getting some really good rolls right now. I'm happy about it. Yeah, you guys didn't get along too well, but it's okay. Come on, guys. Oh, seven rope. Oh, my God. RNG is actually patting me on the back here in, um, Dead in Bermuda, which is completely different than what it does in, um, 60 seconds in that series. All right, we have a new map to check out tomorrow, and we have a... No, nobody leveled up, right? No, but we have some people to rest out for tomorrow, for sure. All right, Eliana, let's see here. Hmm, hello, you. You know, you are very charming. Why does everybody want Alejandro's D around here? Julia, now Eliana. Alejandro, just a heads up, she's 16, so I'm not sure where, what the laws in this island Bermuda might be, but, you know, it could be against the law, Alejandro. Just a heads up, dog. Uh, hello, Eliana, how are you? Huh? What? Hey, <laughs> hello, charming to you. Oh, good God. She's got a crush, indeed. Charming day to you, too. What? Did I say charming? Oh, God, I said charming. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yes, that is Falcon saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Uh, you could say I'm still 16 and a uh, valley girl, too. Alejandro, what do you think? Up for it? Shoot, what did he say? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, she wasn't paying attention. Er, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. I'll wait for you at the jungle entrance. Don't forget the fruit basket. See you later. Excuse me? Huh? Okay, bye-bye. Fruit basket, jungle entrance. Okay, he just asked me to go out with him gathering fruit. It wasn't awkward, was it? Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, we got some free fruit out of it! <gasps> oh, this is the best RNG of all time! <laughs> Alrighty, I am a happy dude. And we have a bunch of fish, too? Oh, good God! Things are finally coming up, Millhouse. We're coming up, Falcon, in this occasion. 22 fruit. We can make a lot of water, which we probably will. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and start feeding you fish to begin with, because we should use this up, because it's going to expire anyway. So, oh, Cygnus is at 21. She needs a, um, one of those, um, medicinal herbs, I'm going to say. Or not, the healing potion, I believe, is what the one that we're looking for here. We'll use that over here. Drop this over here. Uh... 
Get Yuri some fish over here. Julia's at 40, so she definitely needs at least two of these, I would say. That's not too bad. Old Bob the Builder. Alice down to 18. Pretty good. You're not getting sick at all, are you? That's surprising enough. No sickness there. Good. And a little bit high, but not too bad. I guess we'll use this on Bob. Good. And then... Do we hold these two fish or do we use them now? Remember, they have a chance of degrading right now, too. I think we just actually use them up, and hopefully Bob and Jacob will do another good job of um, hunting or fishing for us. Not hunting, you don't hunt fish. How crazy would it be if you actually hunted fish? Anyway, uh, no, no, we're going to have them fish again, so maybe they'll bring in another good haul. Plus, we have a lot of fruit right now that we could actually use as a backup. So, let's just use up the fish now, and uh, let's see. 19 and 17. We're going to use the Miracle Potion on her anyway, so we might as well just use this up now. There you go, that's good. And we have a lot of fruit, so you know what? Let's uh, try to get some people down to like 10% or at least kind of close to it. I don't think that's the worst idea I've ever had. Use that over here. You know, not a 10% for everybody, but some of them are kind of close to it. Yuri, maybe one more. Uh, Alice over here. And that's pretty good. You know what? This is the best we've been doing in Hunger for quite a while. And we still have a bunch of rations over here left over. Not a bunch, but a pretty decent amount in an emergency pinch. Let's go forward. This was a really good night. We are kind of low on water, though, so we're going to use up a lot of that fruit for water right now. Our intensity is down to 63, which is actually kind of bad because we're kind of trying to preserve the 25 wood for the cooking pod. So there is that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we gotta hold on to that wood here. So we might have to do a, a backup scavenge for uh, wood after we're done finding the utensils here. So all we need now is three more rope, two more stone, and we can start crafting. So that's good to remember. Uh, what I'm thinking we do though, oh, we have an extra area to check out. Let's do that now. Strange Blue Woman. This is the one that I've been actually talking about for a while. And this is what I think the ring might be for. If it's not for this, then I've been wrong this entire time and I will finally use that item. But I think she might be the one required for the ring. But let's find out. Uh, let's see. We will do an inspection first here. A strange blue woman is standing in front of you, cuddling the skeleton of a baby dolphin. She welcomes you with a smile, but doesn't say a word. There's an otherworldly atmosphere around her. You feel uneasy, but not in danger. I don't know. I would feel in danger if I saw a blue naked woman. Well, I mean, a blue naked woman wouldn't be too bad, really. Let's be honest here, right, guys? <laughs> no, but if she was holding a, a skeleton of a baby dolphin, I would run, run, run. I would swim to the real world. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, let's see. We could talk to her, we could search her. Let's start with a search first. See if this brings out anything good. I hope I don't piss her off doing this, by the way. Uh, stealth. We're going to require stealth and fighting for this, so there is a chance we're going to be attacked by a monstro. I guess we'll probably use Julia. She might be the best one for it. Yeah, plus uh, if she gets hurt, we could then use a painkiller on her to reduce the overall injury. Ah, oh, but she passed it. Great. The woman is only covered by her long curly hair, so you assume that she isn't hiding anything. You would like to search the big shell she is sitting on, but you don't dare. You feel that it would be inappropriate to put your hand in her shell, <laughs> yeah. Or put her your hand in somewhere else, considering what the shell kind of looks like. If you're under... I, uh, <laughs> Never mind. N never mind what I just said. Anyway. Oh, boy. Um, so, searching did nothing for us. Let's go ahead and get for the talk here. So, who's going to be our discussion person? Who's going to be our ambassador? I'm going to say probably Alice. She was our ambassador last time, right? 74 discussion. Yeah, I think she's the best one for it. 60, 10, 28, 53. Yeah, so we'll send Alice the ambassador over here. We could send him too. 63 isn't too bad. But we'll go for the possibly sure thing in Alice over here. Are you love? You ask. And as if a spell had been broken, she slowly turns to you. Of course. Oh, sorry. So let me do it the right way. Of course. That's not the right way. Hold up. Of course. I can't do the Bane voice. I really wish I could do the Bane voice, but I can't do it. Of course. Okay, whatever. I'm done. No more Bane. Uh, she says with a smile that pierces your heart, equally charming and terrifying. But courteous people usually don't come empty-handed when they are invited to my house. Come back with something I will love and will speak, she says with a smirk. There are two lovers in the jungle near from here who are arguing. Bring me the object of their descent, please. Okay. Find a gift for the strange blue woman near the jungle. I believe this is what the ring is for, so let's find out if that's the case right now. We will talk to her again. Excuse me, we will talk to her again. Alice, come in. 
Um, are you love? That's the same thing. Bring me the object of the descent, please. Well, I guess it's not the ring after all. Oh, let's leave? Well, actually, let's just do this. Back to the jungle, and let's try this one more time. Well, I'm gonna, if this doesn't work right now, I'm gonna try it on the PM portion as well, but let's try it out right now. Talk. Alice. Okay. Apparently, it might not be the ring. We'll try it again one more time at the PM, see if something has to pass forward. Find the gift for the strange blue woman near the jungle. Near the jungle. This is Crazy Old Geese. What if I talk to Crazy Old Geezer now? Uh, not much. Okay. Near the jungle. Well. I guess we probably either have to continue searching a bit more, or it's not the ring. I really was hoping it would be the ring, but it just might not be after all. That is unfortunate, then. Quite unfortunate. Oh, speaking of which, does anybody need to rest for some depression? We could do that now, too. Uh, no, not that. Sit down and relax. Uh, fatigue? 38? Oh, you know what? Alejandro could definitely benefit from that. Which is good, because we're actually hoping to keep him scavenging for a while. You failed that monster attack. That's okay. We'll take it for now. Not too bad, still. Depression up to 17. Fatigue down to 23. Perfect. And let's do this probably one more time with Yuri. Oh, depression's kind of high on Yuri now, too, though. You as well. Hmm. Kind of high, kind of high. 15, 10. Not really worth it. Yeah, okay. So it wasn't the ring after all. So now that means we could definitely use the ring if we felt the need to do so. Uh, 20 fatigue, 10 depression. This is basically almost like sitting down on the couch, really, with a higher fatigue and higher depression payoff. Alrighty. Well, we're in the AM portion. Let's see. You know what? Here's what we do. I'm going to gather these people up to their proper stations for today. And when we come back in next episode, we will continue going forward, so we don't have to kind of waste time doing that right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.